Gentleman from California Reserves, gentleman from Pennsylvania. Madam Speaker, I, I still find it somewhat amusing that my friends across the aisle continue to blame uh, foreign nations and their actions on all this. Let me just give a quick, quick history lesson on how President Joe Biden and Democrats actually caused this crisis. Number one, day number one, Joe Biden canceled the Keystone XL pipeline. Number two, he emboldened Putin with Nord Stream 2. I would actually argue he emboldened Putin to invade uh, Ukraine when he recklessly pulled us out of Afghanistan, which served zero military uh, purpose, but I digress. Additionally, Joe Biden suspended oil and gas leasing on federal la uh, lands. He delayed permits for energy and infrastructure pipelines. He drained the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. He revoked permits for critical mineral projects. He canceled oil leases in Alaska and the Gulf of Mexico. And what has this done to gas prices? Well, in California, gas prices are now $9 a gallon. Here to talk about this is my good friend from California, Mr. Doug LaMalfa, and I yield him two minutes. Gentlemen's recognized for two minutes. I appreciate my uh, neighbor from Pennsylvania uh, for the time here today and for this effort. Um, and I also oppose the previous question on HR 6, and want to instead bring forward HR 6858, the American Energy Independence from Russia Act. It really begs the question with what's going on in the world, why are we dependent upon Russia for anything, especially our energy? So if the number was somewhere around 7% of the barrels of oil we use, we can easily make up by our own production in this country. The amazing hydraulic fracturing that put America on, back on the map for being a exporter of natural gas, and all the other development that we can be doing to bring prices back down. This administration is just seems impervious to the suffering of the American people right now on the cost of energy and the cost of just about everything else. Well, there's another crisis that's going to be coming out of this too. We're dependent on Russia and China for a product called urea. Now, what is that? Well, it's made into a fertilizer, basically, that is used extensively in American crops, but also urea has a use as a component and what's called diesel exhaust fluid. It's, that is a, a part of making our diesel engines run cleaner on our trucks and tractors and whatever else uses a diesel engine with DEF in it. We're gonna run out of DEF pretty soon. The railroads are having a hard time delivering it. And when that happens, that means our trucks don't run anymore because they will not run without this fluid. And so we're dependent on Russia for urea, dependent on Russia for energy, we wanna blame Russia for everything? No. We blame this administration because we're not doing the steps it takes to make ourselves independent that we easily have within our grasp to do in order to go for what is this great reset or the incredible transition the president talks about. We're being transitioned by this administration and it's very dangerous. It's harmful to families, harmful to people's bottom line on running their households, going to work, getting their kids to school, all because we don't have an energy policy that works. So whether the trucks don't have DEF, be able to deliver the goods to the store or get it out of the field, whatever it is, because we're dependent on Russia for energy and all these things. Gentlemen's time has expired.